Is that a pigeon? What's it doing on the district line thinking it's human? In November, I did 3,000 push-ups for charity. But after I had finished, I asked myself, what now? What do I do with myself? What am I doing here? What's the point of being alive if I have no purpose? Sure, I can get my degree and get an unrelated job, get married and pump out a few kids, regret that when I'm eventually broken, fired from my job, divorced, living in a one-room apartment with no central heating or hot water which is full of PFAs anyway, so slowly poisoning my body because the government aren't going to do shit until we start dropping, parents dead, families moved on, friends doing too good to have anything to do with me or too whipped by their partners because it's easier than being alone, slowly saving up my bank account to afford that comfortable coughing so my spine can remain straight in the ground, wow, that's ambitious, that's assuming I get married. What am I talking about? I am not talented enough to have imposter syndrome. I'm like a pigeon trapped in a train until... someone opens the doors and lets me out. Too bad that ain't happening, so I guess I'll find another distraction until... I'm gonna try and make some lo-fi beats. I don't know anything about piano. I know a bit. I, I know how to do a D chord. But mostly because... I play guitar and I, I transposed a few of my songs to piano. So, I know a bit. I know the basics. I know what all the notes are. <laughs> and that's about it. And I can look up any chord and... Yeah. I'm trying to make some music for this vlog. Previously, I did a montage of people doing push-ups because I found it cool that I was inspired by someone to work out and then another person was inspired by me to work out. So I asked my friends to send me videos of them doing push-ups for an impactful ending of the previous vlog and I needed some inspirational music. So the lo-fi cover of a Paramore song called Last Hope because it it slaps was what I recorded because Last Hope is the song I wanted to use for the montage but at the same time I want to keep as little copyright things in videos in general so I, I made my own because I like making music it's fun it doesn't have to be good it just has to work found some tutorials found some ideas if I can link it in with Tame Impala's Let It Happen that'll be great I don't think I will be able to though because I'm not that musically talented but and, and I want to put this video out semi quickly <laughs> It's funny I mentioned that because I had to get my laptop battery changed by Apple, which not only cost £240, which is more money than I raised for Teenage Cancer Trust, but I didn't have my laptop from December the 16th to December the 27th. That's why I'm so late to uploading this month old video. I also wasn't able to study or do anything. Here is a clip of me going absolutely insane because of that. Also, if you want to listen to the lo-fi beat I made for the montage, I'll stick it in the description. It's very simple, but it was fun to make. But onwards into December we go. As my search for purpose led me to explore the art of cooking with my friend Cam, a friend who works in high-end kitchens. These are my knives and other kitchen utensils that I use wow. on a day-to-day -day basis. Do you buy all this? A couple of them I got as a gift. The others I just bought. Yo, it's got the symbols. This, this is a Japanese knife, so. Sexy. Yeah, high maintenance though. We had already bought all the ingredients to make a sans carne. However, something went horribly wrong. Sorry, brother, I'm using your hoodie because I couldn't be bothered to walk upstairs and get my own. Uh, we didn't get coriander, so I'm off to run and get some in the freezing freaking cold. Coriander trip. Ham is just cooking. <laughs> I just left him. Run. If I couldn't find any coriander, the dish would be ruined and all my life's ambitions would go up in corianderless sans carne flames. I suppose I deserve this. Running around the cold looking for coriander that I'll never find. This is my atonement for being born. After finding none at Tesco, thankfully they had some at Sainsbury's. That took way more effort than it should have. I'm gonna run now. Bye. For the rest of this vlog and probably future ones, enjoy footage of Cam cooking when I don't have enough shots of my current topic. And we have have the finished results. It's looking good. I hope so. <laughs> It'll be amazing! The day before this cooking fiasco, I found myself looking for purpose in Camden at my friend's birthday party outing. Yeah, I'm in Camden and it's like midnight, I don't know. Yeah. Are you happy being in my vlog? Yeah, I'll join your vlog. Why? <laughs> <laughs> the annoying thing about Camden Lock, why is there not a club called Camden Pop and Lock? That's a great idea. Why don't they do that? What are you, what are you doing? What are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> this is our fault. We said goodbye to God instead of running to the train. Now we must suffer the consequences. Yeah. <sighs> Happens. I look so much younger without the moustache. You should have kept it up. Nah. No, don't listen to them. Listen, <laughs> you guys are bad influences. Bad influences. You should have kept the moustache. Who's, who are you talking to? Oh, no, the, 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 the viewers out there. The viewers. Well, it's not the viewers who said my moustache looks bad. I thought my moustache looks bad. No, no, don't listen to yourself. I apologise now. <laughs> my moustache looks bad. Look Is it? You, you can't see it. Can't really thing. see it, no. No, you can't. I my see beard. The beard. Ginger beard. You can see it Wait, really close. You, you see nothing. Let's go. Hey, do you have any wise words for the internet? No. <laughs> what about you, Cam? Don't drink. What did I do? <laughs> what did I do? 
<laughs> no, <laughs> advice for the internet. Oh, okay. Uh, my advice will be, if you're gonna catch a train, run. Please do not run on any train station platforms, that's dangerous. After my trek home, it was back to contemplating the meaningless of life. So I did what any television show character does when they go on this arc. I went out to have fun again. If this was an episode of television, it would be to a house party with hundreds of horny people, tape over our phone cameras, and a trippy drug sequence referencing moments from the previous episode. Which for my vlogs would consist of a noodle monster holding Cam's knives, screaming at me to do more push-ups while I call Ron daddy. I don't know why. <laughs> That was fucking awesome. Thankfully for me though, it was a pizza party and then a trip to the pub with my master's course mates. A pub called The Cock, which is so incredibly awesome. Taking a video of Ben doing a, doing a thing. <laughs> I have been contracted by Lydia to vlog the events of tonight. A grand total of an hour, that's all they could afford me for. Say hello everybody. Hello everybody. Christmas at LFA! Yay! Perhaps purpose can be found in friendship, or perhaps in chocolate. My friend Iste gave us all chocolates which had heartwarming quotes written in French. Sadly, I'm unable to speak the language. <laughs> Alright, can you rank me on my French? I've never spoken French before. Uh, if I'm being offensive, tell me to stop. Encore que tilue de la nouve what um nouve vu vuanti. It sounds Latin, but I love it. <laughs> I mean, it says uh, Mar Marcel Proust. My plan was to reveal what the message said, however there's an issue. When I got home I had already lost the paper, which I'm really upset about, I wanted to keep it in my wallet. But perhaps all that this means is that friendship transcends written words. Iste, you're a gem of a human being and anyone who hurts you shall be destroyed with my ninja sword. Busy day though because immediately I had to go back home and meet up with other friends because we were going to try and watch the entirety of Attack on Titan in one night that night. Perhaps I could find some sort of meaning and self-identity in overthinking television. So, it is currently five minutes past eleven. What's up, vlog squad? It's your boy, <laughs> Bromaine Lettuce, aka What is the Time? He just said it right now, aka Holy <laughs> shit, we're watching Attack on Titan? That's crazy. We're watching the whole thing unless we don't manage to. Can I tell you, you ain't finishing this shit tonight. No, I know. The squad okay, is like, dead. It's quite <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna censor that. Yo, yo. That's censor, that's worse. Natalia. Yo, believe this. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> <Wait, wait. laughs> it's already 10 to 1, and I've already lost interest in the show. It's not even bad, it's just like, I don't know, I don't care. In What's words. up, vlog squad? It's your boy, uh, Santa like Undertale, aka um, Undertale. Hello. What's up, vlog squad? It's your boy, hey, right now. I have Loki predicted things more or less of what's happening. Like, she's asleep first. She's like, I don't even know if she's going to sleep, but she's just there. The only mistake that I made is that I thought that he would drop off before you two started to drop off. I'm not drop off before. No, I know, I know you're not your fear to me, but I kind of predicted that he would. The weak ones go first. Oh, it's fine. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not. <laughs> Yo, we're going crazy. <laughs> I was gonna let you two are reminiscing that fucking party game. Let's what go. party game? The one with the finger in <laughs> The what? You mean you like I mean, you two to are lesbians? It's a statement that you just sent. It's Come on! Like, what up, vlog squad? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what's up, vlog squad? It's your boy, <laughs> Sam's in the tail, aka, what the fuck? What am I doing here? aka, Natalia, what is wrong with you? aka, Maybe you're we've existence. only watched five episodes of Attack on Titan so far. You're already dropping! Wake the fuck up! I'm awake. This is weird. Ron, what are your thoughts on Attack on Titan thus far? Oh, it's pretty great. <laughs> You want another shot? Hell yeah. Ron, you can stop talking now. <laughs> but I prefer to talk. <laughs> Bite I prefer me. you didn't. I'm a failure to society. We can't talk to you. Ever, no one's looking. And then suddenly I hit you back. And you're Ron the victim. Listen, he's exposed the victim to slap his leg. Oh, it's a vlog. Welcome to the squad stream. So today we are combining watching Attack on Titan. But we're also playing Among Us. Because <laughs> it is the game of the year. Am I right? Baldur's Gate 3? Garbage. Spider Man 2? Yes. <laughs> Worthless. What's that one? Alan Wake 2? Never heard of it in my life. <laughs> You're eclipsing the footage with James <laughs> Lake. It's great. Why are you now adding my leg into the shot? No one has ever said this before, but you have a nice leg. <laughs> you know, no one has ever said that to me before. Well, the amount of people who have seen them, they really should be. <laughs> you need to chill. <laughs> I need to go home before this conversation gets me dark. <laughs> Oh, 
Oh, I thought you were gonna go like, what's up, Vlog Squad? Oh, yeah, that's true. What's up, Vlog Squad? It's your boy, Merry Christmas Tree, aka Mother Howl. I haven't even watched five episodes, aka uh, Poverty. If you haven't worked it out, no, we did not watch the entire show. We watched like 12 episodes and then everyone went to sleep. 16 minutes past two, got 1%. Walking home, not that far, so it's all good. December's coming. Let's make some good decisions this month. All of us. I wonder what will entail. I guess we shall see. Good luck, everybody. I'm going home. So, yeah, December was great. I was super productive. I got so much done. I'm totally not behind on coursework and my vlogs. <laughs> oh gosh, I'm just gonna sit on my bed and wonder what it's all for. Yeah, oh dear. Don't forget to join the vlog squad and like and subscribe. And share this if you can, because, you know, it'll help. Please.